This is a method for recording the area under a curve in Logger Pro, and this is a version 3.10. On the screen, you will see a graph, if you will, that I've constructed. It's not a particular graph of a particular phenomenon or a particular set of records. I've just created this graph with x and y axes so that we can look and see how to do areas under a curve. So let's start off by familiarizing ourselves up here with the, uh, with the icons that you see. And I've created straight lines with the linear fit icon on top here. And if you look at Analyze here, you can see the integral which we can form. And what we'll start off doing is starting right here at this uppermost point on the rising linear function. We don't care what that linear function is. We just want to find out what this area under that curve is. And so we click on Analyze and Integral. Now what we see here says the integral for a data set Y is 243.4. What that means is that when you multiply each of the various Y values by the incremental value of X and add them all together, you get 243.4. There's no unit given because we didn't set a unit on either the X or the Y axis. Now we can get rid of that and find out the area under the entire curve here from the point where this alleged data begins to the time it flattens out. And so let's go ahead and paint out this area and click on Analyze Integral. And you can see we have the entire area here from beginning to end, including the portion at the bottom, which may be statistical noise, may be background for this particular experiment. And it says that the integral for this data set is 481.4. You can see how powerful such a tool can be if, for instance, you're doing a gas chromatogram and you're trying to find out what the area under a curve is to see of the proportionality of molecules, the number of molecules that are striking the chromatography sensor. Uh, what you need, if you if you're graphing time versus the voltage signal, here you need to multiply the two together, but you probably have a complex function on top. So you can see that you can simply analyze and integrate. Let's try it again with this larger mountain of data. Again, we start here. And we go over to the point where we want to end our data analysis. And we click on Analyze and Integral. And it comes up. The integral for data set is 1331. You can do this for pretty much any curve that you generate. And this is the way that you will be analyzing the functions that you have coming out of a gas chromatograph because the signal versus time is a curve. And so you need this kind of functionality to make that happen.